Ladies and gents, folks of the YouTube, welcome back. Today is a super exciting day for me, and I was gonna keep you guys in suspense and like roll up with a video camera, but then I was like, probably put, you know, what's going on in the title of the video, so I won't do that. But we've outgrown the home garage here. It's uh, It's been an awesome like year and a half of working at home and doing cool stuff and all that but it's time to grow and all that good stuff so i got a commercial space super excited about it so we're gonna go pick up damon and uh he, i'm gonna show you guys he's only seen it from the outside as well so it'll be his first time on the inside it's got a lot of potential we'll leave it at that it's got a lot of potential but it's gonna need a lot of work and if you follow my channel everything we do needs a lot of work so per the huge let's take a ride all right boys here she is might not look like a, 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 a lot right now but she's got potential boys all right guys we are here at the new shop and uh, like I was saying it's got a lot of potential but we're gonna have to do a lot of work which is okay we're uh, real excited about it, so let me show you around. So obviously, there's a U-Haul business here as well, and I will be taking that over as well. But let's go back to where the shop area is gonna be. Another cool thing is we're actually gonna have a showroom. So here's the shop space. It's not huge, but it's not small. I totally forgot that there's a car lift in here, so I had thoughts, and we're going to talk to the, the mastermind Damon here about this, but I had thoughts about we could either convert it to a bike lift or try to just take the top part off and get it out of the way. Yeah, it, it, it works on air, and I was thinking even if we had to like make a slight platform, but I don't know, my thoughts were maybe putting lifts diagonally here because it really limits us on... Right. on space you know what i'm saying yep. um so that's something we're gonna have to figure out and then this thing right here is actually a closet for the office on the other side and i want to just tear it out completely um just to give us more room and when we go around to the showroom i'll show you guys what i'm talking about but this wall right here is a non-load supporting wall so we can cut holes in it put doors in it whatever we want and I want to cut a big window in it and put a, put a door, um, but we'll check that on the, on the other side. And then back here, this is a little crack shack. <laughs> um, this is just like a little machine shop room or whatever. There is some water damage going on. And I talked to the owner yesterday and he was gonna get up on the roof and fix that, but that's gonna need some attention. Uh, not too bad though, you know. It's a nice little bonus room. Little storage thing. The windows here, back here, are cool because it's got the steel. The garage door, we're gonna we're gonna do something with that. Up here, this is plexiglass, so I don't know if we'll put bars in there, or put metal pieces. Actually, instead of ha having the windows at all, I could just put sheet metal in there. But we're gonna do something. Good thing is the building does have an alarm system. Of course, I'll be installing cameras because I'm a security freak. So we're gonna have tons of cameras at this place. A little back area here. Pretty cool Texaco signs. I think there's two of them. There we go, huh, kinda neat. That blue bus, the shagging wagon right there, that thing's going away. Um, it should have been gone yesterday or the day before, earlier, but It'll be gone. And then along this fence here, I was thinking we'd put a nice big banner that says, you know, motorcycles or whatever. This door here does not open. This thing is, is permanently down because of the, the walls and shit on the inside. All right, guys, so this is gonna be the U-Haul center, which it kind of is now, sort of set up. But um, over here, this will be the showroom area 
And this is the wall I was talking about that we're either gonna cut a hole and put a window in or make a big giant door or something like that where it's nice and open and you can get back to the, to the shop area. So the guy that owns this building, a lot of these pictures are him and his family. He's a big time flat track racer. This is one of his bikes here, a little Husky. This is a modern bike, but this is his dad's Harley here. And I think that this is a 39. Um, this is actually, his dad used this motorcycle as a dirt bike. That was his dad's dirt bike back in the day, but it's super neat. Little Yamaha 125er and a little flat track toy right here. A little Suzuki, but I can't remember what size it is. I think it's like an 80 or something. He was telling me he got it at a garage sale, I think, but it's pretty neat. So this was a motorcycle shop back in the 90s, in the early 90s. And since then, he's just been doing the truck rental stuff and he has a few other businesses. But yeah, it's gonna be cool to make it a shop again. And back here we got office area. It's kind of dark, I know. The lighting sucks, like most of the other lights in here. So we're, we, got a, we got our work cut out for us, that's for sure. Damon, what are your thoughts? Oh, it's gonna be cool. It's, gonna, it's a lot of work, but it's gonna be fun. Yeah, I think it's gonna be awesome. So yeah, a lot going on over here. So over here, just more U-Haul stuff. And we'll be able to clean clean this up a bit. Um, there's some garbage and stuff back here and this shed I want to clean up and make a little nicer. But boys, there's a three-wheeler here. This is a Santa Cruz Surf Patrol, an old scooter thing. So we might end up doing something with this. The owner expressed that he'd like to have it painted or something. Um, and I would like to play with it because that seems fun. Another adventure for the new business is propane sales. And I have zero experience with the propane, but it seems pretty straightforward, so yeah. All right, guys, so this is the new shop. I hope that uh, you're excited like we are. Like Damon said, it's gonna be a ton of work, but we're up for the challenge. Yes, we are, and then it'll be a, there'll be a place in Felton for, for people to stop in and hang out and see what we're doing. and. We'll just get nothing but more business from that. Absolutely. So if you're local, Santa Cruz, Bay Area, whatever, come check us out. Uh, in the summertime, we're going to be doing a bunch of events, vintage bike night, bike shows, vintage bike rides, all that good stuff. So as always, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe if you happen to be new. This is a heck of a video to be coming into the channel on. But uh, definitely subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you on the next one.